33.9 million miles away, a helicopter is about to enter history. NASA's Ingenuity getting ready to attempt the first ever flight on another planet. Nothing about that sounds easy, but it's actually even harder than you might think. And we went one-on-one -on -one today with the NASA scientist who led the team to find out how. Well, thank you for joining me. I thought it'd be great to start off by asking you, can you put it into perspective, the shape and the size of this particular helicopter? Mars Helicopter Ingenuity is um, about four feet from tip to tip. And the, the body of it is about the size of a tissue box or a softball. It weighs about four pounds. How did it get there? So the uh, Ingenuity kind of hitched a ride along with the Perseverance rover when it, it launched last July and it landed uh, on Mars in February. And Ingenuity was stowed up underneath the belly of the rover. What will happen on Sunday? Okay, we'll have our first flight. And this is the first flight of any vehicle on another planet. But we'll start off slow. I mean, everything's a first and we're learning as we go. Uh, the first flight will be pick up from the surface of Mars, hover at about 10 feet off the ground and sit back down. Sounds pretty simple, but remember we're doing it on Mars. <laughs> we have a series of five flights and each of them gains in complexity builds on the previous flight. So we start off with that simple pick up to a hover and sit back down and then we'll move up to, to flying away about 300 yards and returning. What, what exactly is NASA hoping to learn? So this is a technology demonstrator. So what we're learning is that um, how all of our testing and calculations and how all of that actually plays out on Mars. And then if this is a successful demonstration, we, will, we can then use that knowledge to build bigger and more capable aircraft that, that can be partners for rovers and can you know, carry more scientific instruments, can do longer missions. So this is the first step. What is more difficult or different about flying on Mars versus flying a helicopter down here? So uh, the atmosphere on Mars is very thin, not a lot to work with there. It's about 1% of Earth's atmosphere. So the helicopter blades have to spin very fast. The whole vehicle has to be very lightweight. Then in addition to making it fly, it has to survive very cold Martian nights, very hot Martian days, plus all the dust in the environment. Ingenuity is carrying a piece of history with it. Can you tell us about that? So it is a historic flight, the first flight on another planet. And so we have linked it to the first flight on Earth. Uh, it is carrying a piece of the original Wright Brothers flyer, uh, a piece of fabric from the wing. Susan, my last question is just what does it feel like for you to know that you are involved in making, making sure that this happens, this historic flight in our solar system? Well, it's, we've been working on this for, for about six years. And so there's a lot of excitement building up to, you know, seeing it really happen. And we did all the testing, we did all the calculations, and now we're going to see it happen. So a lot of excitement. Susan, thank you for taking time to talk to us in the KDKA viewers and best of luck with the flight. Thanks very much for having us. Thank you. NASA says you can create your own helicopter at home to see how Ingenuity works. They have shared a step-by-step -step video showing how you and your kids can make your own Ingenuity with just a piece of paper, a pencil, and some scissors. We shared the link to the DOI instructions on KDKA.com. And if you make this, take a video and tag KDK on Twitter and Facebook because we'd love to see your kids' helicopters.